Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. Last we left off, we'd kind of gotten a little lucky and stumbled into this guy who told us where we might find the silver key. Which, just in case, because it's been a few days since I've recorded anything, just in case I forgot to mention it, the keys in this game are not one use like they were in Dragon Quest 1. You find the keys and you use them forever. And I believe I've gone over the combat system here, how it groups up enemies sometimes and you have to attack enemy groups. This Mostly this affects your magic because your melee attacks are completely unaffected by if you're attacking one monster or a group of monsters. Other than the fact you can't target exactly whichever monster you want in a group. But yeah, if you want to attack something with a big spell that hits everything in a group, yeah, there I believe there are going to be there are going to be versions of spells that attack groups, attack single monsters and attack all. I know that happens in the later Dragon Quests. I don't know if that happens here. And it gets kind of annoying trying to distinguish between them at times. But anyway. They said we want to go... Far to the west of basically Sumatra. I hope I'm heading the right way. I know I'm heading roughly the right way. But this is just a lot of walking. Okay, I'm not quite far enough east. We'll be running across a building I'm going to completely ignore for right now because it doesn't lead anywhere I really want to. Actually, let's look inside it. There's a little gate there. A little shrine. Jerk. Stand still and die like every other enemy. Don't bite me. So we can go in here. I don't think we're allowed in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we are allowed in. We can't get through that door yet. We could go through here, but we really don't want to. There's nothing for us there yet. But that will take us to a new place. We do not want to go there yet. At least, I don't recall wanting to go there yet. I take it? I'm taking the long way around, aren't I? Yes, I am. I should have gone north. Oh well. A little extra walking, fights and babbles. Which are like slimes, but grosser. And they also have a metal version, which is incredibly nice to run across if you can actually hit the thing. Apparently it's like beating on liquid metal because it takes like no damage from you. And we got an extra club. Don't need an extra club. I can sell it for a few gold. I don't need the gold. And this is already going to be a long enough trip as it is, really. Lake Cave should be over to the west up here. There it is. So welcome to the lake cave, where we have been hinted that there is a silver key waiting for us somewhere in the depths, but there are also a few other things. Like agility seeds. It's not the only thing in here, but it is one of the, it is one of the nice things. A free agility upgrade for uh, the hero here. Prince Cookie gets nothing. 
because Prince Cookie is the absolute goddamn worst. I believe that's how it goes, right? Right. Okay, Cookie, you're gonna be useful. I know the game called him Kane, but he will forevermore be called Prince Cookie. Also, you may remember that the first game had no way to replenish your magic out in the field. The second game does. The second game has a few items. I think one. I could be mistaken. I'll look later. But it's something you can carry with you and it will replenish magic points. So step in the right direction. Maybe get ourselves a free lottery ticket. Lottery tickets are good. And somewhat related to getting items that replenish magic points. It's not the main thing you want out of the lottery, but it is a thing. There are two main items you'll want in the lottery when we're across it, but I will come over those when we uh, get there. Quit showing off, Cookie. You really do not deserve the name Kane. Some of, these in some of these enemies will drop lottery tickets. And sometimes you will get them from vendors. I can't recall if I mentioned that because I haven't gone through and watched all my original videos yet. Hmm. Yawning. Fun. Okay, luckily we are almost done with this cave. Really, this cave's only two floors big and we're on floor two. There are some other things to grab in here that we will grab along the way, but this cave... Do we go faster if I did the right things? Hit the right buttons. I don't... I don't remember everything I've gone over. Eventually, I will have to go watch those original videos and... Probably just end up fielding a lot of questions from uh, the comments. Okay, I say a lot of questions. I know a lot of people don't watch these. But there, there may be questions. Hopefully in the time span where I still actually monitor comments on a video like this. So, what else to talk about? Not much, because we're almost done with this cave. But luckily for me, I am almost completely done setting up my new studio. And just to be clear, I mean the studio that I turned my former roommate's bedroom into. And now we have Silver Key. What we came in here for. And let's actually, uh, let's actually get some use out of it. Let's make Cookie useful for a second here. Because I don't want to walk all the way back there in this video. Return takes you here. This is the only place Return will take you. So when you actually get use out of it, consider yourself somewhat lucky. And there we go.
Let me... Yeah. Just to sell the club. Okay, first, let's actually take advantage of this key. Put a curse on people who seek to destroy him. Be careful, okay? We need your lottery ticket. Sorry, heroes, heroes privilege. The Bell Amulet can protect you from the magic of monsters. Small chance you can still be put to sleep. And that matter if you steal their magic. So the Bell Amulet. The Bell Amulet is a very, very handy little accessory that is available through the lottery. We, we still can't get in here. The silver key will not turn that door because it is the gold key. But down here is the jail. He tells us that we should be down here and then this guy. He's kind of pushy. So something tells me we don't want to let him out. It's just a hint. So. Still got enough time to show off a few things before I call it a video. And then, uh, do some save spamming. Save spamming. That's not the word I'm looking for, is it? Save scumming. That's what I'm looking for. And you will see why... Sadly, I think I'm going to have to... It doesn't matter yet. I only need three lottery tickets at the moment. I'll have to get more later because I want other things. I may have to go farm... I may have to go, well, farm buying and selling things or farm some very specific enemies to get a couple extra lottery tickets. Don't really want to waste one. But... I will have to show off the lottery. Now that we are here. Let's go ahead. I don't want to sell them. Because I would also, I also need to save scum for the agility seed and the nut of life. I need to save scum for those two. And we can still deposit. I think I've got some stuff on cookie. No. lottery tickets you've got in here. I have two on you. Okay, yeah, I have four. Four is the base number you actually want from my knowledge because it allows you to get four items out of the lottery, which is pretty much exactly what you want. If I am lucky with this lottery ticket, then I can uh, get one very specific thing on my trial run. If I'm extraordinarily lucky, I will get the thing I really want. But more than likely, I'm doing a poor job of explaining things. I'm tired and I'm kind of frazzled. But this is the lottery. 
I'm going to demonstrate this and hope I don't screw up completely and completely lose the lottery ticket. So let's play. Would you like to hear the rules? Sure. Press the X button. The A button works just fine. Once again, to stop it, match three sun symbols and win the grand prize, the gold card. Matching the other symbols will get you a different prize. The prayer ring for three star symbols and there are some heart symbols and moon symbols and water or slime symbols depending on what you're looking at. So the prayer ring, prayer ring is not bad. It's not the optimal thing you want from here. Not right off the bat, but it is an item that allows you to recover magic points out in the field. You use it and you recover a few, you recover, I think it's between 15 and 30. Um, I want to say 15 and 30. I do not have it pulled up, but you use it once you recover 15 and 30 and there's a chance it can break. It only has so many uses, I can't remember exactly how many uses it has because it's been far too long. Actually, it's been a never since I actually played this game and used the wizard ring. So I don't know how many uses it has here versus Dragon Quest 3 or 4 or whatever. But anyway, let's play the lottery and if you get two symbols matching, you will get a free lottery ticket. So it starts out kind of randomly. It's not completely random. Each wheel, so to speak, each of the slot has its own arrangement of digits that I don't think ever changes. And each one will stop just a, will stop at a very set amount. So if you know exactly when to hit the button, you will get the grand prize every time. You don't need the grand prize every time because you only need one of them. The gold card, the thing we want, is basically, and I'm just going to get the wheel started here so you can kind of see just how fast the thing moves. The gold card basically gets us a discount at every shop in the land as long as we're carrying it. You can see what we'd want that. Another prize, the bell amulet is basically a protection charm. It's nearly the ribbon from Final Fantasy, if you want to think of it that way. Except sleep might still work on you. At least I believe that's how it's supposed to be. It may be the case that it puts you to sleep every now and then, which would be less happy, but you get a lot less status effects going on you, so yeah. So anyway, we've watched that. Let's see if I can get anything to stop here. Come on. Well, I got a lottery ticket as a consolation prize. So nothing, nothing too bad happened there. I still have four lottery tickets, which means I can get one golden ticket or one gold card and three bell amulets because we are going to get a third person just in case that wasn't clear. But... That's where the saves coming is going to play, come into play. I'm going to play the lottery till I have these things. And of course, get, you know, the nice fanfares and all that. I'm not going to do this on screen because it would be very boring to watch me completely fail hundreds and hundreds of times. That is going to take to get these. So, anyway, when we come back, I... I'm not sure what the next goal is. I'll have to think about that. I mean, after the lottery. But we'll have, we'll have the lottery sorted out. And then I do believe it may be time to go down that gate that I walked in. I think that's the next step. I'll have to go look. So anyway, that, that's a problem for future me. For now, I'm, I'm done rambling. I will talk to you all next time. Join me again, won't you? See you later, folks.